Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that you likely saw in your Twitter timeline on Friday night as he got a devastating knockout victory there at LFA 100. Steven, appreciate the time. Obviously, that's really was the was the talk it was about your knockout uh, going there, yeah. and obviously, I mean, you, you responded to uh, obviously the criticism that was out there. What was there any comment that you saw that kind of just irked you? <laughs> Oh man, uh, there was a lot of them, man. Uh, there were some of them I remember at that time, but I don't even remember what really they really said. I mean, I kind of just skimmed through it. I thought it was uh, pretty funny, you know. Um, but you know, man, like this is this is MMA. This is that was my killer instinct that that took me. You know, all I know was I knocked him down. I knew he was I knew he was down, but I didn't know he was out. I thought he might have even been in a, like a turtle position, right? Like kind of with his hand up, turtle. I, I mean. I had a split second to decide. I mean, I went right in there. But about halfway down on that hammer fist, I was like, oh, he's actually out. So, you know, thank God it only hit him on the shoulder. Um, so he's fine. I got to talk to my opponent afterwards, things like that. You know, we made sure we, uh, you know, talked it out. Everything's good there, man. So as long as I know the truth, all these people that are commenting, man, and all that stuff, I love it. Keep it coming. Keep talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> and look, that's that is a good thing. People are are talking about you. I mean, look, you, you go out there, you win in thirty seconds. I mean, can can the fight go any more perfect than what it did? Uh, I don't think so, man. That that was that was literally the picture perfect fight. That I had I went in there, uh, got the job done, and I walked out, you know, unscathed. So that's how I want my fights to be, man. You know, and obviously, it's the first time we had seen you in a long time. I mean, you're you are you know, approaching well over a, a year and a half at, at this point. I mean, obviously, and there's a lot of guys who are you know very similar situation as you, just unable to get a fight in, in 2020. I mean, did you like what was kind of like what was the mindset heading into the fight? Yeah, I mean, I would, I can't lie. I mean, 2020 was a very hard year. I mean, for me, for I, I feel like almost everybody, right? Like that was when the pandemic went down. So uh, I was actually in the middle of a move to Dallas, man, right when in the middle of the pandemic. So that didn't help. Um, so, yeah, you know, uh, it was definitely hard and especially trying to find fights, you know, COVID, you know, there's not going to be any shows. And then on top of that, I finally had a fight, but then I got injured three weeks after my fight, which also put me back for another two months on top of that. Um, and then even in this last camp, man, we had like three opponent changes. So it's it's a uh, it's been a long road. Um, since my last fight, but I'm not focused on that anymore, man. I know where I'm at now, and I'm going to continue to focus to get better. I mean, I'm not even injured or anything, so I'm, I'm getting right back into the gym next week. When you had the, the multiple opponent change, does that just kind of emphasize the point of like, look, man, this stuff's going to happen in, in the sport. I can't control it, and so all I can control is, is what the work I'm putting in the gym? Yeah, man, you got to step up to the plate, you know, um, I, I'm a very smart fighter as well, you know, like I had to think it through. Like it didn't really mess me up like physically or nothing like that. But, you know, you're just training for somebody for over eight weeks and you have to switch it up and you know how that goes. So it, it was frustrating for sure, but you're right. I mean, just like you said, man, like as long as you believe in it in training, you know, you get to step up to the challenge. And uh, that's exactly what I did. You know, uh, the term focus seems to come up a lot with fighters that I've, I've spoken with recently. They talk about you know, whatever, maybe the focus was with the fight, maybe what the focus was in, in just in the training room. Was there something particular you were focusing on leading into the fight? Yeah. I mean, I was focusing on, uh, for my original opponent. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much when I found out I was going to fight him about five days out, I didn't really get to prepare, you know? So my focus was on myself. It wasn't really on my opponent. Like I knew he was shorter than me, so I know I could reuse my reach. Uh, that was something that's, that was for sure. And then from there on, I was just like, you know, I'm just going to fight my fight. What am I good at? All right, here I go. You know, so that's the mentality. So I didn't I didn't prepare at all, man. I mean, technically speaking, you know, specifically. So, um, but like I said, it is what it is. You mentioned about, you know, moving down to Dallas. And obviously that has to do with where you're training at. They're, they're at Fortis. I mean, was there, was there a point of, you, you know, everything's kind of happening. You're going, man, are the stars just not aligning right now for me? I mean, plenty of times. I mean, even just getting down there was difficult because uh, just like finding the right apartment and, you know, things like that. Then having to move back to Kansas for, cause everything shut down for a couple months. I mean, you remember that like around like April where everything, everything shut down the whole yeah. country, everything. So then I was like, I can't even train right now. The gym was shut down, you know, like 
you know, there's nothing out here for me. So I went back, go back to Kansas, but I still was paying my rent here. You see? So it was, you know, it's hard, man. It's hard. Uh, but I, you know, I want I want this to be for somebody that's watching right now that is going through something tough in life, you know, and if you just stay on it and continue to advocate for it, you're going to get at the end of the day, you know, it's going to come full circle. And it's just, it's about your mindset. It's all here, man. It's all here. Uh, obviously we, we saw you in the contender series and, and now you, it, it did is your kind of thought of, okay, you know what? I just want to right or wrong. Let me get back in that spot here, here in the summer. Is that the mentality or is the mentality like, look, if uh, it, it's, it's just Jason house gives me a call and says, Hey, we got you a fight here. Hey, it doesn't really doesn't matter where the promotion is at this point. You know, well, first of all, I'm, I'm blessed to be surrounded by people that want the best for me. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're a big team. So, um, if the opportunity is the right opportunity, the right timing, things like that, then of course we're going to take it. Um, I'm not opposed to doing contender series again this summer, man. You know, like if that's my opportunity to get back in, let's go, let's run it back. You know, it would make it, it would make it even a better story. But, um, like I said, I know I'm in good hands and when my manager, my coach says, this is a good opportunity. I want to believe them, man. And that's how much belief I have in them, in my team. And then all I have to do is, man, is get prepared and go out there and, deliver another explosive knockout you mentioned about you're gonna get back in the gym next week but i'm sure you're probably enjoying not being on that strict diet that you got to be on to to get down to 45 uh and any uh was it was there like a go-to food item you're like oh this is on the menu first thing man i i have a list of restaurants i'm gonna try out here i was like i'm gonna try all this out uh as soon as i'm done with my fight but yeah man i'm, I'm a big foodie man I, i've been grubbing i've been grubbing <laughs> Is there, have you stepped on the scale yet to see how much you're weighing at or is that like something you're like i'll worry about that once i really get back into the gym actually still the same weight as my fight day weight I'm, i was 165 so i'm around 165 still right now okay so it's good man it's good i'm uh i'm gonna definitely slack off for sure the rest of this week but then like i said right when i get back next week um start start uh narrowing my choices again a little bit just a little bit <laughs> is there a, do you have a, a timetable in mind of when you would like your next fight to be i mean you know all the contender series is in the summer you know so that's that's a something I'm, I'm looking at but um man i feel good it just depends like i said uh i try not to think too much about that side i have a team that does that for me they present me with the opportunity let's just say i'm in the right hands right now and i know the time will be will be here soon i'm not i'm not waiting another year to fight if that's what you're asking Definitely. <laughs> I, I, I know the answer to that question. Oh, I know, the, you know, because uh, look, that's how, that's how you make money. You gotta you gotta step in there and, and make that money. I mean, look, I get it. You know, it's uh, you know, but like, do do you look at the last year as is? I mean, like, I sometimes I know it's easy for us to look at you know the negatives of things, but do you try to just look at the positive? Like, look, like I, I look at where I was a year ago as a fighter. And to where I'm at now, and I'm just at a, you know, I, you try to look at that positive aspects of like, man, the amount I've grown as a martial artist over the last year is really something to, to emphasize. Right. I mean, 100%. I mean, even going through the, my hardest times, like my first professional loss, you know, like, you know, people will think negative things, you know, especially going through uh, a big loss like that. You know, everybody goes through it. But just the whole time, and I was just thinking, like, what is the best thing I can do from here? What's what's something positive that I can that I learned that, that I learned from this fight or what's next, you know, like, you know, especially I know my contingency was, it was a good fight. It was a three round war. If it wasn't for that knee, who knows? I might've even won that fight. Some people say, but I'm not focused on that anymore. That's the past now. Um, so it's always been about thinking ahead and thinking ahead into the future with me. And of course, I look forward to seeing when that next fight is going to take place. Steven, as always, man, appreciate time. Of course, uh, let me know anything fight on social media and anything else you want to mention, man. Yeah, guys, follow me on Instagram at Steven Win W I N one four five on Instagram, guys, and you know that's where I post all my stuff and all my content. So come check me out and don't miss out on my next fight.